Hey, what's up guys? It's RJ and Trey from AchimaHunter.com bringing you Mortal Kombat X Crypt Items Collectibles. So in the crypt, there's certain items you can get that allow you to access other parts of the crypt to get cool stuff. So the first thing you want to get is Scorpion Spear, and it is in the, whatever you want to call this area, the crypt, the starting area. Um, it's technically called the Hollow Grounds is the portion where you get it, but uh, you want to start in the over area, then you go into the Spider's Tunnel, then you go into Shao Kahn's Tomb. Those are kind of the progression of areas that Shao Kahn's tomb right there. But uh, I'll, up, I'll have each coordinates up for a little bit on the screen uh, when I get to the item so you guys can uh, memorize where it goes. But uh, unlike, I mean, uh, just like the last game, it's a first person crypt. See, here you go. This is where Scorpion Spear would be. I already had most of the items by this point, so I apologize that they're already missing. But uh, like the last game, it's a first person crypt, but this is more of like a dungeon system where it's basically in blocks. And right there is Sub-Zero's Ice Ball. Very close. And um, at any point when you get all the items in an area, I always go right here to the Crypt Entrance. So uh, you can orientate yourself, basically. Now, you have this game, yes? Yes, I do have this game. And I love the combat. All I'm saying is I fucking hate mazes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I made this. Because it can get pretty confusing. Uh, but next, you want to go to the spider tunnels. Um, but I do have to say, the scream or the not screamers, but like quick time events, I guess, in this game are sometimes catch you off guard and can be pretty, uh, pretty freaky. Oh yeah, the spooky dog ghost things. Oh, uh, and the spiders. Oh, dude, I hate spiders. Oh, just wait. Uh, this is where you get Raiden staff, and uh, it's in the shadow spider cave, spelled with a K, because they're clever. And. Um, I got a little backwards for a second because it looks like there's a tunnel over here, but you always want to go to the right. And then down here is where you find... Ah, crap, I don't remember. I think this is where you find Reptile's Claw. Nope. Yes. Reptile's Claw. I'm sticking with it. It's been a while since I've been in the crypt. I recorded this a while ago. I did this um, the other day. So now, you decided to avoid the crypt because of the quick time events, yes? Yeah, I hate spooky jump scares and... Like I said, mazes are not my favorite thing. I always get really confused with them. So I've been mainly sticking to the story, which I find awesome right now. The story is really good. Um, but I am also going to be working on a, um area where you uh, a crypt uh, navigation for Shao Kahn's tomb and all sorts of stuff like this. And right here is where you get the spider gem. You use scorpion spear to get across. And then uh, it'll be right up in those the spider's arms. And then you go back to then continue your quest. To get the other items. Now that's all we're going to go. We're going to go over like four items or so per video. Um, and then eventually get you all the items you need. Uh, it's really not that hard once you know where all of them are. Uh, and just follow the paths that I lay out here and uh, everything will be good. Uh, with the way I do it, I would suggest is just get all the items. Because then you can just move around the crypt however you want. And you don't have to worry about um, like reaching an impasse. Pretty much everything works. There's no doors that you can't unlock or anything like that. But next, you want to go to this area here, uh, the Elder Chasm. And you want to use Raiden's staff to go across. And then we end up at Arachnia, which is where we'll begin our next video in the Spooky Crypt. Spooky.